Okay, welcome back to the uh, the Minneapolis Northwestern Inscale Model Railroad Monthly Video Journal and more on the traffic light uh, installation. You can see here I've got one finished lamp, uh, street lamp and traffic light and I've bundled up all these wires under here and I've uh, got a lot of real small thread-like wires from the little LEDs that are used in these lights and if you can see what I've done here I've kind of wrapped some uh, thread around these to sort of bundle them all up and not have so many of them <laughs> to deal with um, also um, I thought I had this figured out to the point where I was about ready to install these but after a little testing uh, I did have one uh, lead uh, or rather all the uh, uh, negative leads from one set of lights kind of bundled together so I thought I would have two leads going to my uh, little connection plate here but I found uh, after a little testing that works better just to have one common lead for all the uh, the negative uh, leads on the lights here so all the negative wires all six of these negative wires for the LEDs are all now all consolidated into just one negative lead so I've got a common lead for all of the LEDs and the light uh, otherwise I have one positive lead for each pair of lights up here each red light both the red lights both the yellow and both the green lights all have their own positive red lead and the others left over are the uh, for the street lamp I've got two other leads here for the street lamp at the top of the pole and those will be wired into a different uh, different circuit for lighting now I marked these positive leads here so I could tell which one is which I think you can see it very clearly here but I've got one short mark on here for the red light a kind of medium mark for the yellow light and a long mark for the green light so that I can kind of tell which wire does what and after a little testing make sure all these work here I put it into my my common negative lead here and get that under the battery there we go and take one of the positives and I can see we've got nice uh, nice lights here they work well They're a little flickery because my connection is a little, a little loose but all the lights work nicely and I want to do as much work above the board as I can before I go underneath the board and install these. I've got uh, four of these in this configuration and I've got another one that is kind of a simpler configuration because it just has the one light on the pole here so that's you'll see why I'm using that this way once we get up onto the layout and you can see what the intersection is going to look like. In addition to all the lamps and things, I've made this little connector plate. Uh, it's just a real simple uh, sheet of styrene. These are the plugs that will fit into my Arduino board. Once I get underneath the board, get this mounted underneath. I've got these uh, pins that will plug into my Arduino board. One for the east-west lights and one for the north-south lights. And there's my ground wire. Um, the grounds for the lights will all uh, plug in here and I've got eastbound uh, lights here green red and yellow and green red yellow for the west or north south lights and I just thought this would make an easier way to make all the connections underneath the board uh, I've just got some simple screws and washers here and some real simple uh, conductors just thread the wires underneath this little piece here just to help kind of put them all in uh, order and this will be screwed up underneath the board the train board and make it easier to make all these connections and once it's underneath the board there all I got to do is just slide these wires underneath the washers there and tighten them down so that's my uh, plan 
for installing the traffic lights. Okay, here's a look at the intersection that uh, had the traffic lights installed. And if you can see from this angle very well that they're working, but they are working. And I'm trying to go through just a little bit of uh, explanation as to how the uh, traffic lights were set up and how I, where, how I decided where to put them. And you can see this is kind of an unusual intersection. Uh, the uh, crossing street doesn't necessarily line up from one side to the other. That is the east-west street from here and it kind of kitty corners over to here. And the street that you see passing from right to the left is actually going from north to south on the layout. <clears throat> so we'll come back over here a little bit and see a little different angle. Try to hold the camera a little steady for you so you can see what, what we're doing here. And if we look down the street here, you kind of get an idea what the uh, traffic lights are doing. You can see them changing. Might be a little better in the uh, if I turned off the room lights here. We'll take a little better look at it a little bit later here once you get the room lights turned off. Um, the light poles are still just a little crooked. I gotta get in there and do some straightening. So uh, uh, a little hard, little area is a little hard to reach on my layout being that it's kind of near the center of the table. I gotta climb under the table and up the other side to uh, try to work on and straighten it out. But from this direction, this is looking north, and you can see there's two lights here. And I put in two lights because I thought this was such a big intersection here. I thought with one light way down there at the end, uh, it might be a little hard for traffic to recognize where to stop. So there's actually two lights here, one kind of at the front of the intersection and one uh, further back. You can see that one down there. Um, also we have the crossing street. Come back over here. Whoop. For the crossing street, there's just a single light pole right there. It doesn't have the boom on it because uh, there's only uh, traffic going out this way. Traffic coming in wouldn't really need a light coming in this way. And this road over here coming into the station is a one-way street. So there's no light at the end of the block there. There's just the one light facing the uh, oncoming traffic. So the uh, east-west um, road or east-west street only has the one light there uh, directing traffic or controlling traffic rather coming um, from down the uh, street there toward the station. Traffic going out of the station is down here at the other end once it gets past the station it goes out over there. So this is a little one-way street in front of the uh, station. So there was no need for a light over here. And so I've got four lamps, or four light posts rather. There's two on the north-south street on this side. And then there's one more on the north-south street on that side. And then there's two posts here, two lights here. I've got one for the traffic coming down from that street and one for the traffic coming down on this street. It's just a single one single little uh, pole that doesn't have the uh, the boom on it. So I'll kind of give you a little idea what uh, the intersection looks like here. So um, it's working very nicely. See, I'm going to get to we'll do, we'll do a night shot a bit later in the uh, in the video, and you kind of get an idea what it looks like. So uh, we'll go under the board here and look under the board. <laughs> it's kind of a mess under the board because. Uh, I ran into a few problems under there. My installation wasn't as clean as I hoped it would be. So we'll take a look under there and you can, you can judge for yourself. Okay, well, here's our mess under the table. <laughs> here's the little connector plate that I made. And keep in mind, I had about uh, 16 wires to connect in here. And part of my problem was I didn't make my lead wires long enough for my lights. So here's the Arduino board underneath the uh, layout here. It's all mounted on under the board. And I've got my, uh, my uh, six leads going in here for uh, each set of lights. And I've got the ground wire here. Um, 
here's my connector plate. This didn't turn out to be as good an idea as I had hoped. I thought it might make it a little easier, these wires being so small, I thought it might make it easier to uh, just do one connection at a time rather than trying to bunch together three or four wires together and try to get them under the same terminal here. So my idea was to kind of try to make one terminal for each connection. I thought it might make it a little easier, but uh, uh, I'm not happy with the setup here, so I might end up refining this. This might be my next uh, project to try to clean this up a little bit. Part of my trouble was I didn't cut the wires long enough and I wound up having to add some little barrier strips here to connect all the, uh, the lights. So two of them over here. So one of the lamp or the, the uh, street lights comes out through here and four of these wires are going to the barrier strip. There's one wire for each color of lights, each set of lights, red, yellow, and green, and the ground wire. The other two coming out of here are going to my uh, lighting circuit for the uh, street light. So there's six wires coming out of each one. Two of them are going to the uh, to the lighting for the streets and the build or street lights and the buildings, and the other four are coming over here to the little barrier strip. And from there, we go over here to our to group these together as best I can. They come over here to the connector plate. These are all the ground wires over here. I've got five lights and five ground wires here. Each one has a resistor. You can see on here a little uh, 1k ohm resistor on there and that is connected to the ground wire which plugs into the Arduino board, the ground on the Arduino board. And we've got, let's see, these first three are, I believe, either, I'm not sure whether the east-west, uh, those are the north-south lights here, I think. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, one set for, for uh, north-south and the other for uh, east-west. So that's what these are, these three here. Uh, I think these are the east-west, these are the north-south. One uh, light, traffic light, uh, pole coming in here got the four wires coming in here going to the barrier strip red yellow and green light and the ground and those go back over here to the to the uh, connector board here and that each each of these little uh, terminals here is connected to the Arduino board so you got red yellow green and red yellow and green two sets of each and they're the same thing here, going to here. Uh, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. I didn't use the uh, same colors for the jumper cables here, but I didn't want to cut up my nice red, yellow, and green jumper cables, so I improvised and used a different set of colors just to keep things straight. So hope that's not too confusing, but it is a little bit messy under here. Uh, trying to figure out a way. I'm not sure how I can come up with a good way of, of securing or, or kind of pinning down a lot of these real fine wires here so I'm going to try to come up with something better here but uh, anyway what well, you want it pretty or do you want it to work so <laughs> that's how it looks onto the board it's not quite as clean as I had hoped um, but uh, there's uh, what did I put up there five lights there's one here the little half pole here that doesn't have the uh, the boom on it and then there's one light here and there's one light here and one light here and all of the lights or the traffic lights uh, have street lamps on top of them so those were wired into my my lighting for streets and buildings and that's the mess under the board oh no uh, one last thing i've got a nine volt power supply plugged into the Arduino board. This can be disconnected anytime or turned off. So that's my power to the Arduino board is this 9 volt power supply that plugs right in there. And here's just a little kind of a nighttime look. You can see the uh, lights on top of the traffic poles, the street lights. It's a nice little look to it. So everything's working very nicely. So there's the uh, 
the finish on the uh, little traffic light installation. I hope, uh, hope you enjoy and the, the little two-part series I did on installing traffic lights and hope, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed that and it adds some nice little color and interest to the layout there so it's a fun little project. Worked out pretty well.